time for investigation. Ouch. Meet Chloe and Alexia. They star in CBBC's Ice Stars. They can spin on the ice at incredible speeds without getting dizzy and falling over. I'm going to have a go at spinning, Zand. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Hang on, I'm going to come yeah. to come to the side of you. Okay. Bend. Okay, so bend. Yeah. And then. Yeah. Kind of rotate yourself and then yeah. pull in. Now my problem is that I am already dizzy. Really? And then you've got to skate off and keep. The, I can like. Oh. Maybe a little more practice will help me out. Yeah, yeah, I got him. <laughs> I think I'd better leave this to the professionals. <laughs> So when you're doing your spins, how many times do you think you go around? Maybe about 25-ish, yeah. Or maybe more. 25 complete turns around. Yeah. And at the end of that, do you feel dizzy at all? We don't really have time to be dizzy, I don't think so. Now, I know you thought I was brilliant, but I actually can't compete with Alexia and Chloe on the ice, so I've got a little experiment to see how we all deal with dizziness and the safety of dry land. Right, you ready? Yeah. We're each going to do a spin, followed by the simple task of walking to the table and pouring a glass of water. Let's see how I fare against these two. <laughs> I can't find it. <laughs> okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Okay. okay. That wasn't very successful. Okay, and you ready? Okay, go. Let's see how the ice skaters do. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What, nothing? So that's why I couldn't do the spins on the ice, probably, isn't it? That's probably the only reason. <laughs> when you spin around, the fluid in your inner ear spins too. When you stop spinning, the fluid keeps moving, but your eyes tell you that you're still, and that makes you feel dizzy. The skaters are brilliant at dealing with the effects of spinning, but how do they do it? I've come to meet Dr Barry Seamungle, one of the country's top experts in dizziness. Now, all of us know what dizziness feels like, don't we? But for some people, it can actually be quite a serious problem, can't it? If that happens to you out of the blue, when you're not expecting it, this can be due to problems in the inner ear or the brain. I know you've done a study on ballet dancers. Why have you studied them? Ballet dancers have actually been training for most of their life, and that suppresses their sensations of dizziness. So what are those brain mechanisms that allow ballet dancers to not feel dizzy? We can understand that. We can use that to treat patients. This is Dr Barry's dizzy lab. The most important part of it is this, a special chair that allows Dr Barry to see how different people deal with dizziness. He's going to run some tests on me and the ice stars to see how differently our bodies cope. This experiment will be conducted in the dark, so I can't see when I'm turning. After just under a minute in the chair, something very strange happens. I feel completely still. It's really interesting. Like, I, I, would, I would absolutely promise you that I'm not moving. Yeah, and that, that's because the fluid in the canals in the inner ear are now moving together with your skull. And what we're going to do, we're going to stop the chair. Whoa! It just feels like I'm definitely moving in the opposite direction. The fluid in my inner ears is still spinning, and you can see from my eyes flicking that my brain still thinks I'm moving. Now it's the girls' turn. Let's see if when the chair stops, they still think they're moving. Do you feel you're moving? No. Not moving at all? No. Well, well done. OK, you feel that you're spinning? No. You don't? No. Not at all? No. I've never seen anyone with zero response. She just isn't getting dizzy at all. At all. When the chair stopped, you were feeling as if you were turning for more than half a minute. These guys were right. They felt no sensation of self-motion because their brains are better than yours in suppressing dizziness. All right, don't get, don't get too smug. <laughs> Thank you, Alexia and Chloe. Dr Barry's research has shown that the part of the brain which deals with dizziness is actually smaller in people who train to spin like Chloe and Alexia. Incredible! What's amazing about this is it could have very real medical benefits. If Dr Barry can train people's brains to cope with dizziness, it could really help them lead better lives. Right, I'm off to practice my spinning around.
I'm not sure that's how you do it, Zand. Ouch. 